Hey, it's Benji Cole, son of Al Cole from CBS Radio, welcoming you to another edition of People of Distinction. The talk that gives an in-depth view of some of the most dynamic, intelligent, and successful people on the planet. And on the line with us today, we have Daniel Meza. We'll be discussing actually two books by Daniel. The first one is Zip Code 265431, The Zip Code of Success. And the second one is The Ballerina. Both available at his personal website. That's Daniel M. Meza, author.com. So one more time, that's D A N I E L M M E Z A A U T H O R.com. There, not only will you be able to find each one of these titles, you'll be able to find greater descriptions on them as well as finding information on Daniel himself. So do yourself a favor, get directly to that website and pull out everything, again, that Daniel has to offer, okay? Daniel was brought to people of distinction today by some of the best movers in the business. Authors Press Publishing. If you have a book that you'd like moved, move it through Authors Press. You can find them at AuthorsPress.com. And guys, listen, I'm so excited to have Daniel here on the line with us, okay? Because the first book that we're going to be discussing, The Zip Code of Success, right? Zip Code 265431, The Zip Code of Success. Such an amazing narrative with really a powerful message behind it. I mean, listen, right there in the title, it's going to be all about success. Who doesn't want to be successful? From the, the earliest point of our lives, we're all taught that that is really what we need to strive for, right? That's really what we ultimately want. And within the confines of this book, Daniel is going to put this all together and he's going to give us practical tips that are going to help us reach what that success means to each individual. Because of course, as we know, success doesn't always equate to the same thing for everyone, right? Depending on who you are, and what that definition of success means to you, it varies. And he's going to help us distinguish exactly what that is. So listen, without further ado, we have Daniel here on the line with us. So first and foremost, Daniel, thank you so much for being a guest with us on People of Distinction. How are you today? Hello, Benji. Uh, What an honor you've given me. And thanks for having me on your show. I'm really excited about this. And if I may, I I would... Like, like you're, uh, have you introduced me, uh, talk about the Zip Code of Success book because it's a life-giving book. And, and then, even though I wrote it, I want to talk about my very own most favorite storybook, The Ballerina. Absolutely. Well, listen, Daniel, of course, please, let's jump right in, okay? Tell our listening audience, how did you come up with the Zip Code of Success title? Interestingly, Benji, people immediately smile and are intrigued with this title. I chose this title because success is an actual place that you can reach. Mm -hmm. And success is something everyone desires to have. So that that, uh, title kind of encompassed both of these ideas. So this book is for everyone of all ages. The book is non-religious written in day-to-day language so that it can be used in homes, schools, and places of business. It shows you how to create that success attitude needed to be able to enjoy a lifestyle of success and succeed at any task, relationship, or career. The numbers 265431 are the codes that represent how to create this success attitude. Later, I'll be telling you more about these codes. Fantastic. Well, listen, we're looking forward to it. Now, next question is, you know, I heard you hint before in terms of this being a life-giving book. Why do you call this a life-giving book, Daniel? This book is a life-giving book because I discovered that life is about learning. The quality of one's life comes from what one has learned and is able to enjoy. Life is not just being conscious and simply breathing like a paralyzed man in a hospital bed. Life is really about the quality of one's life. Mm -hmm. Consider that what the quality of your life is at this very moment is the direct result of all you have learned about life up to this point in time. But not everything we have learned in life has well benefited us. 
And some things we have learned have become bad habits that degrade our quality of life, not improve it. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you said a mouthful there for sure. Now, Daniel, I'm sure there's going to be so many benefits, right, that are encompassed and really showcased within this book. What would you say are some of the benefits that the readers will experience once they read this book? Oh, that's a good question, uh, uh, Benji. The benefits of reading and applying what you will find in this book are, first, it is designed to create a love for learning. I've heard people repeatedly say, I know that, or I'm okay with that, or I'm okay with who I am. Fact is, when you stop learning, you start dying. I've heard students complain about their teachers, and to me this translates to this student's own lack of love for learning. Why? Because someone who loves to learn new, good, required, and healthy things will look beyond the teacher to the subject matter that will increase the quality of their life. I'm so thankful for great dedicated teachers that we have in our country and what all teachers desire is for students to come into their classrooms learning ready you know that is definitely a message that i can attest to daniel you know my significant other she's a teacher she's been teaching now for about 15 years and it's definitely a conversation wow. that we've had multiple times so i can definitely attest to the importance of that now Daniel, what else does this book offer? It will also solve the success attitude mystery. For years, I've heard people say to people, your attitude stinks, or with an attitude like that, you'll never be successful. But no one ever tells you what that better attitude they are referring to is. Mm -hmm. Not until now. The zip code book, like no other book, reveals what the success attitude itself actually is. That for countless of years has been a mystery. You know, that's fantastic. The only other question that we can follow up with, that's what a great segue. What is the success attitude? <laughs> oh, you're right. That is a great, great question, <laughs> Benji. My research discovered that the success attitude is a standalone entity. That's something you have to visualize, a standalone entity that has its own set of rules, skills, and scripts. Benji, as an actor, you well know about scripts, mm -hmm. that they tell you exactly what, number one, your role is, number two, what needs to be said and done, and number three, how your part plays into the and affects the whole scheme of things. The success attitude itself is like any other individual career or sport because each sport or career have their own set of rules, skills, and scripts that you have to learn and successfully follow if you want to be successful in that particular career or sport. In fact, each of us have adopted our own set of rules, skills, and scripts that we daily follow and use. Unfortunately, some that we follow actually undermine the level of quality we would desire for the final telling of our own story. Mm -hmm. To fully answer your question, the success attitude is that is what contains the rules, skills and scripts of a lifestyle of success that can be joined together with any task relationship or career to enhance the quality of life produced. It is the missing link people have long referred to. So the, the success attitude is a quality enhancer. And most importantly, this book will teach you what most overlook, which is the critical importance of the manner in which you pursue your goals. Why? Because you pursue, the, the how you pursue reaching your goals is what will develop and build your success character, which is essentially needed to become a high achiever. The success character is developed in learning how to communicate with 
and help other people to achieve their goals and being a person who provides quality service. Why? Because every employer and every customer is looking for people who sincerely care about them, in whom they can place their trust in, and who will consistently provide quality products and services. Fantastic. You know, this is such great stuff. Taking a quick pause. Guys, again, here on the line with Daniel Meza. We're discussing his book, Zip Code 265431, The Zip Code of Success. Later on, we're going to be following up with his next title, The Ballerina, both available at his personal website, DanielMMazaAuthor.com, to pick up the titles for yourself, okay? Now, as we follow up, the next question, I mean, of course, right in the title, Zip Code 265431. Now, it's a catchy title, but of course, that's not an actual zip code, right? I mean, yeah, you got one too many numbers there. So talk to our listening audience, Daniel. Tell us about what those six codes in your book will teach the reader. Thank you for asking. And let me reaffirm, you're a great interviewer, Benji. I appreciate your questions. And I'll be glad to tell you about the codes. Code two explains that there are only two ways people think, either like a victor or like a victim. Hmm. Let me t- let me give you an example. You're on your way to an important meeting that you are in charge of, and you're already running late. On the freeway, you find unusually heavy traffic that increases your tension. And all of a sudden, you hear a pop, and you know that you have a flat tire, and begin immediately to curse as you make your way to the side of the road. You stop the car saying things like, why me? Why now? What's happening here? Mm -hmm. And in anger, you hit the steering wheel so hard that you bend it. Now you get out of the car and you're just missed by a passing car because you didn't really watch how you were getting out. And you kick the flat tire, scuffing up your new $400 shiny boots. Question, how are you thinking? You're thinking like a victim and you have wasted a lot of energy and even made the situation worse and haven't done a thing to get yourself back on the road. The book teaches you to become solution minded, preferring to choose victor type thinking and not waste time and energy thinking like a victim. So it teaches you to start screening your thoughts. Code six gives you the six characteristics of a person of quality and excellence. And Benji, you're going to love how I discovered these six characteristics. (laughs) I once met an extraordinary man, a musician and a violin maker, who described the six stages of how the magnificent Stradivarius violin was created. I wrote them down because I'm great at taking notes. Later, it dawned on me that the same principles modified to apply people can also make them people and instruments of quality and excellence like that valuable violin. Mm. Next is code five. It gives you five essential keys needed to achieve success. These are a must. Code four gives you four essential things needed to achieve your quality goal. Now, there's a warning that comes with this. You must do all four things to achieve your goal or you will surely quit or settle for a lesser goal. Code three uh, alerts you to three very valuable things in life that must be handled with care and correctly because once they are gone, they are gone forever. And so now we go to code one it discloses the number one key that will always open the doors of opportunity and let me tell you this key is golden when all six codes are working together like six pieces of puzzle connected as one you have created the success attitude and i and i also want to point out that this book has many excellent artistic illustrations included in the book that were specifically designed to bring a deeper understanding of each of the concepts being presented. 
Wow. Hey, listen, Daniel, this is absolutely <laughs> incredible. I mean, not only, hey, just the concept. And again, it's such a universal concept. And we know this, right? Again, as I stated when we first started, this is something that we all strive for. This is something that from an early age we're taught about. And of course, success is something that we're all trying to achieve on, on our path and on our life's journey. But what's amazing is how intricate and how specific you've you've made it and really very easy to follow right i mean these are practical tips that are are very self-explanatory there in the book guys all you have to do is you have to go out and pick up the book okay you have to go and purchase the book and you have to follow exactly what daniel has laid out for us but i mean listen if that wasn't enough if that wasn't amazing enough daniel has another book and listen, I just also want to preface that he started off by saying that this next book is his absolute favorite story. So as intricate and as detailed as the zip code success was, there's actually another book in his opinion that he thinks is even better, right? So let's not even wait any longer. The next title is The Ballerina. Now, Daniel, I, I know your excitement in your book. You've stated it. It's clear. Tell us a little bit about the book. Oh, Benji, I, I just love this story. My children and my grandchildren were raised with me telling them stories that I made up, especially for them. A book, uh, stories like The Peanut Butter Kid, The Watermelon Man, The, the Cemetery <laughs> Boys, to mention a few. But my all-time favorite story is The Ballerina. Not only my children love the story, but the grown-ups love it even more. Every time I tell this story to grown-ups, they, they would love it so much. And some of them, even with tears in their eyes, would always say to me, Dan, Dan, you have to write a book about this story. And a movie should be made about it. And I would take my whole family to see it. Wow. The Ballerina is a book for the entire family. And it also has beautiful illustrations. It is an interesting blend of three genres, realistic fiction, mystery, and fantasy. So it has something for everyone. And what the book offers is appealing on many levels. First, it's entertaining with a great storyline of things that occur to little Jan Marie, things that could happen to anyone. The story includes sad moments, challenges in life that we can all relate to in some way, breathtaking surprises, tearful, joyous moments of triumph, and mysterious moments taking us into a place of wonder. The book allows us to experience Jan Marie's life along with her. Mm -hmm. But most interesting and exciting is how Jan Marie, even at a young age, chooses to handle things in life that she has no control over and and how her very character will inspire the reader to greater levels of family love loyalty responsibility friendship discipline patience and the willingness to pay the high price needed to attain great successes in life the benefits of reading this book and one day watching this movie is great family entertainment and a visual inspiration to consider a greater higher way of living you know that absolutely sounds fantastic daniel and it makes sense as to just hearing your description it makes so much sense as to why so many people love this book and why this is ultimately your favorite title Listen, the only follow-up question that, that, that we have to tie up this interview, because this has been absolutely insightful and so incredible. So thank you very much for sharing everything. But the last question that, that we have for you, Dan, is in terms of success, what are the dreams? What are your dreams of success for both of these books? What does that look like? Okay, Benji, to begin with, let me warn you. I've been called a dreamer so, so many times. <laughs> and I am so happy to see a lot of those dreams actually come true. And this is my dream for these two books. To see my books translated into many languages, especially my Zip Code of Success book, to be found in every home 
every school, every college, every business, every juvenile facility, every prison, and every religious place of worship. Why? Because it promotes peaceful, successful living in a healthy, thriving, and caring individual with a community spirit. And my ballerina book also, in every household, for enjoy for enjoyment, while it is inspire an inspiring family entertainment, and a book for all ages, for adults, realistic fiction and a mystery, and for children, pure fantasy. One last time, here on the line with Daniel Meza, we just finished discussing his books. Zip code 265431, the zip code of success, and the ballerina. As we stated before, both available at his website, Daniel M. Meza, author. Dot com. Daniel, this has been absolutely incredible. We truly appreciated bringing these books to our table. And thank you so much for being a guest with us. We truly appreciated you being with us on People of Distinction. Oh, oh I, I really enjoyed it. I, I really did. Um, and, and you're such a great, you made me feel so comfortable. I think you have a, 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 a large part in making me feel at ease. Uh, and to really talk about my life's work and and the dreams that i have you're a great host and i am so happy to have spent these moments with you thank you god bless